Chris Hilton, how he can build a world beating Black Stars team in three years. He beat me there called US Mexico 2026. Now you have set a target, say, yeah, what could be semi final? And we can. It's possible. Thank you. Cassiopoli, where you are, Ganiopoli. Ganiopoli, nice, you know. Yeah, that's a whole lot. Yeah, but it's here. Absolutely. I think this is a this is a great honor for me, a young journalist, to be sitting here alongside these two great legends. Um, for me, I think Samik Four seated right next to me here is one of those trailblazers for Ghana football and football made in Germany. For those of you that are old enough to remember, that was the only way we watched German Bundesliga. And these days, everybody might be talking about a different league, but the real foreign league that defined Ghanaian television was German Bundesliga right at the very beginning and thanks to Sami Kufour and Luther Matthäus. Obviously a World Cup winner, record uh, appearance at the FIFA World Cup only recently Ronaldo uh, and Rafa Marquez matching his record five appearances at the FIFA World Cup that is unbelievable at age 38 uh, winning German Football of the Year and now at 62 he looks younger than you Yao yeah absolutely <laughs> but I was about to ask that was my what is your secret I mean Luther yeah let's get a microphone over there what is your secret because it, it is quite remarkable somebody also remarked that is that Luther Mateos I used to watch him when I was young and this person looked like he's plus 40 so what's your secret Luther uh, first uh, thank you very much for to come here and uh, for the invitation from the ambassador thank you for you to him, thank you to his family, thank you to everybody. And we have another legend here too from Ghana. We we was football players and we uh, we had another legend, Ghana footballers here in the in this group too. I don't like to tell all the names, I think five, six players mm -hmm. uh, who who present Ghana in the worldwide worldwide football. They are here and I think this is important for a country. We need ambassadors, not only in the politic, in the sport too. And I think we are the same good ambassadors for our country. And what they was doing here, Semi, not only Semi, all these five, six players who are here in this moment, they are present Ghana in a good way, especially in Europe, and make good advertising for football in Ghana, made in Ghana. And they made in Ghana football, it's very, very good. They played not only in the World Cup, they bring every time good players, from here to Europe and make us happy in Europe. This I have to tell too. Thank you very much. Yeah, they deserve a round of applause as well. I mean, and, and you know, Tahiru, um, Sami, as well as, you know, legend Luther. Okay, I didn't answer, I didn't give an answer to your question because. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure, your secret. Uh, my secret is to go every day to run or to make stabilization training, go to the gym and I have the same discipline like a foot when, I, when I was a football player. I go five, day, uh, five times per week to run. I travel a lot, but I have always sport clothes with me and the time when I have free for one, two hours, I used to run or to go to, to the gym and uh, I think this is a secret because the rest, I enjoy like you, sometimes I drink a beer, sometimes I eat not uh, uh, junk food, maybe uh, junk, junk food, food. Yeah. yes, I go with my son to McDonald's, I eat uh, beef, I eat everything, wow. no problem, but I, I walk for myself every day, walk out, and I think this is a secret why I keep my my, 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 my weight. Wow, that's fantastic, let's give him another big round of applause. Not, not like Semi. <laughs> yeah, we'll come to Semi in a minute, but yes, um, Mr. Anthony Barfo is here, the interesting thing is that these gentlemen, Siki Akuno, these are names that stand out in Ghana football. And, and at the moment, Ibrahim Tanko is also very close to qualifying the National Olympic team to the Olympic Games. And these guys all come from at least getting their football education in Germany, Borussia Dortmund. Uh, can, can we see a way from Ibrahim Tanko? For those, yeah, maybe, yeah, there he is. Uh, Siki Akuno, Siki Akuno um, FC Cologne, amongst others, right? Uh, Anthony Barfo as well, he's there. Yes. Yes. Woo, 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 woo. Worked with CAF at the highest level. CK coached the Black Stars. As I said, Coach Tanko is currently pushing to get Ghana to uh, the Olympic Games. So, Sami. And, uh, yeah, mm. just hold on. We cannot forget. He might not have played in Germany, but possibly the biggest 
the biggest baby <laughs> baby jet I was coming to that. Yes. yes he's here those of you who don't <laughs> baby jet where are you Ah, baby jet he's over he's yeah, hiding yeah, in the yeah. in the uh, baby jet we can see you thank you so he much is, yes thank you so um, are... yeah just a quick question uh for you luther i i um just tell us briefly obviously i'll come to sami about what it all means but tell us briefly about your mission earlier here today there was a press conference where you were announced as a stakeholder let me put it that way of Accra alliance investing in the ghana premier league Oh, we, just tell us a bit more about your interest in Accra Lions. Mm, my interest is always to give the best for football. And uh, I am here and follow the uh, Premier League in Ghana last six, seven months because friends from Germany are involved in this club from the beginning, 2016. And uh, yes, uh, give me always the idea to, to be partner in this project. And, uh, and I have a good connection with Ghana. We were talking before. I played with uh, Semi together from 1993 to 2007, eight years for Bayern Munich. We had a lot of fun together. I had a connection to Ghana. I'm not the first time in Ghana. I was here for the Africa Cup 2008. I was four years ago here when we presented the German Football Bundesliga with the DFL, Deutsche uh, German Football uh, League, here in Ghana and uh, was with Semi in the TV studio in this time. and. Uh, I'm always, I feel like at home because I know so many people here and uh, the people make me happy and my friends told me, hey, why you don't invest uh, in, the, in the football? You come from the football, the football give you a lot, give you this, uh, this, uh, this, um, this position where we are now and uh, yes, I think, yes, but, but what you like to tell me? Yes, and then they show me always the games from uh, the Accra Lions and uh, give me advice to to do something and uh, I say yes it's very interesting because the uh, team improved uh, the club improved very fast in seven years from nowhere to, to one of the top teams in the, in, the, in, the, in the football in Ghana in the league and uh, I, I and this give, changed my mind more and more and then I thought okay I'm ready give me an option what I can do how I can help you how I can invest and uh, then we was talking uh, five six months ago and uh, we find a way and for this I'm here and I'm very happy to make this investment, especially yesterday I saw the first time the academy, the people who were walking there, the players, very good players, better than you and me, Sammy, yes, yes, they have technique, you didn't have technique, you had power, yeah. but they can play football, they give the clean ball, they have a good body language, and what I like yesterday, what I saw, they walk together. They really walk together, they have family, and not only the players on the field, they have a good coach from England, he he gives them a little bit the European discipline maybe yeah. and uh, what uh, Sammy has to learn to on the beginning I help him too and uh, this is this what uh, I like very much and I think uh, this was a this last 48 hours beli believe me more and more to make a right investment and to be here on the right place in the right time let's put our hands together for him that is beautiful wonderful wonderful indeed um, one question for you Sammy regarding what he just said what is what what does that say about us in terms of what you're seeing now one of your colleagues one of your friends uh, coming to invest in Ghana football what should we feel about all of that how does that make you feel I feel blessed to know him as a person and then also for him to come to Ghana there's so many opportunities that he can go to any country but um, he choose Ghana that tells us that there's something here that we have to take care of it. This is our talent. And the talent player that he mentioned, he mentioned something important. That we have to gather. And that bring um, victory in everything that we are doing. I think for him to come here is a blessing to us. Yes, and you know, Sammy, again, I'll ask you, your time in Germany was because of that, everybody supported Bayern Munich. You know, it's, it's normal. You watch Bayern Munich and you have that connection. You spent so many years there. How important was the education, the football? Lothar talks about the family, very important. And then just getting to know the philosophy of German Germany football and how you can also bring that to, to Ghana. How important was that for you? Well, I think me being there first time, I have to give credit to this man. Lothar, thank you so much for everything that you have done for me. I mean, people doesn't know this and it's very secret. When I got to Germany, I was training with the first team, and he told me, you are good. 
I was feeling cold. So he has to go to Thief Garage and bring me clothes. Then he takes me to shopping for two days, you know. And then Torino, I was coming from Torino. Torino won a big money, which was a half a million dollar, and which was 1993, Luther, 93. And Romanega didn't want to pay the money. And Luther said, okay, we know that the guy is good. If you don't want to pay, I am paying the money from my pocket to sign him. Wow. So when he developed, then you have to pay me 10 times. Oh, wow. Ah, big round of applause. That's that's news. So, and then the buy immediately they signed me. And they, you they, were a teenager then. You were no, very young. I was very young. I was very young, but he saw the potential in me and playing alongside him was a was a dream come true because I, when I was young, watching him play in 1990 World Cup become the best player of the tournament, the world player of the year. And me standing the same training ground training with him. What blessing more did I need? I'm going to ask you, were you not, I know Sami Kufo has a big heart, and were you not at any time thinking, this is a bit, this is crazy. Can I do it? Or you had that confidence? No, because I know where I'm coming from. I come from a very poor background. So I decided to kill myself for that moment because it's an opportunity that will maybe not come again. And he helped me to achieve my dreams. And then Luthers, what did you see in Sami Kufo? Because, you know, yeah, I see potential in him, like how I see now the pl players from uh, Agro Alliance, a lot of potential. But Semi come to, to Munich with uh, two of his friends, with uh, Saba. Uh, uh, Who? Pendil, Pendil, Pendil come here. Okay, they come with three. And uh, I was always, uh, in this time, I was a captain. I was uh, one of the oldest players in the team. And I know you need a support. When I come in the young age to Borussia München Gladbach, my first professional football club in Germany, 500 kilometers away from my home village, and I played before in the fourth division, and now I stay uh, with, uh, with in a team in the Bundesliga, uh, sure you need help. And I know it from my young age, how we support the players. I like to give the support, the same the, the players who come uh, in the young age to Bayern Munich. And uh, I saw immediately really potential in him and Bayern Munich really, uh, Uli Hoeneß and Karl-Heinz Rummenigge, they were, oh, so much money. So I say, sorry, I really like to pay this and give it me back later or we, we share the next transfer, doesn't matter because I saw potential he can help us. He can bring us to a higher level. And he was working every day very, very hard and later we we was profited from each other. He take the ball from the from the another team, give me the ball and I construct the... Uh, The, the passes in the offense, yes, and uh, yeah, we, we we was in very good connection, not only on the field, it's in outside, and uh, semi know what to get help, and I give him my time, I give him my power, and I give him. experience and I think we profited from each other a little bit more semi from me because his experience was not uh, coming to Germany but he was a positive guy coming in the Allianz Arena Munich they sing his name and I think he was doing something for this he was giving his best for this club for his fans and uh, for himself for his family and for Ghana too because he present in this way when he was playing for Bayern Munich Ghana the country Ghana was uh, he was a good ambassador for, for in this time and he's still ambassador for Ghana in in Munich and in Germany because everybody know him oh Wow, let's put our hands together. Uh, incredible. And one of the things that you spoke about, attitude, the character, and the determination, that's how all of you have got into the top, including all of our legends who are here today. Sami, you yourself and Luther, you've won multiple Bundesliga titles um, for Bayern Munich, but this season is looking tricky. <laughs> the season is looking tricky. One game... To the end of the season on Saturday you play at home to Cologne of course by uh, Dortmund are also playing against Mainz they lead by two points the only way Bayern Munich will win is if Dortmund draw and you win or if they lose and you win do you see that happening well I think um, Bonus Liga to my opinion, has become a bit boring 
why Bayern Munich winning 10 times on the row. So if Dortmund wins now, Tanku can be happy, but for us, <laughs> we, we, we are okay. Where's, because, where's Tanku? <laughs> because we win it 10 times on the row. And I think, I think it's fair. It's fair for the fans, for the viewers. It's fair. Oh, that's very sporting. Put your hands together for him. A bit charitable. Uh, a bit charitable, to be honest. But um, one other question, Luther. When, uh, when Thomas came to Core, Bayern were in three competitions. They were in the Poco, they were in the Champions League, they were in the Bundesliga, and it looks like you might not end the season with a victory. Do you think you will come good? What do you think is going on there? I think Bayern Munich make in the last 12 months a couple of mistakes uh, on the field, outside, around the field. L wrong decision because for me, uh, I didn't understand till today why they changed the coach in a moment when they had the results. Sure, they was not playing excellent, but in the Champions League, they had eight games and eight win. And they was playing not against the second level teams in Europe, they was playing against Inter Milan, who are playing now in the Champions League final, to win. Barcelona with Lewandowski, to win. And against Paris Saint-Germain with Messi, to win. I didn't understand why they changed the coach, because sure, the coach has never all the team always all the players behind it because the players were sitting on the bench they're not talking nice about the coach because they like to play but Julian Nagelsmann is a young coach he can make mistakes he make mistakes but he needs the support from the CEO from the club from the sport director from the club and sometimes they give him to stay alone and this I think was the biggest mistake was, was Bayern Munich uh, doing two months ago when they changed the coach and you see the results Champions League goodbye German Cup goodbye and uh, we was talking about the Bundesliga title uh, to 99% uh, they will not win after 10 years the first time the title. But it's good for Bundesliga because uh, in uh, our merchandising outside from Germany, all around the world, the people are happy to have this year till the end a, a big competition for the first place. And this was never ever happened in the last 10 years. And for this, it's good for Bundesliga. And I am happy, it's the same like a Bayern Munich icon when Borussia Dortmund will win this year because Bayern Munich didn't perform to win the championship in this season. Wow, 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 that's great. So e everybody's gonna be watching this weekend to see. But let me find out here, where are the Bayern Munich fans? Can we hear? Can you make some noise? Okay, what about the Dortmund? Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, let's come back home. Okay, Bunch and Gladbach. Yes. So let's come back. Accra Lions, it's all over. Today is uh, Lothar Mateos, Accra Lions, Bayern Munich, you know, it's trending. What message would Lothar Mateos want to give out there to not just Ghanaians, but the rest of Africa? They're watching. They're, this is a big, this is huge. No, I think uh, Africa especially the west part of Africa, they have so many talented football players. And I told the same to my team uh, yesterday and today. You have to walk every day to get this what you want. Wish c uh, dreams can get true. His dream was to play in Bundesliga and he was walking every day hard. And this I told yesterday, ex best example is Semi Kufur. He come like a young boy to Germany didn't speak the language, different mentality, r different temperature, everything is different. But he was going this way because he was strong to himself. And he get this what he want, what he wish. And this changed his life. And when they work very hard for themselves, sure not everybody can go this way, but the one or another will find a way and uh, the results what he is wishing now for himself. And this is this for what they have to walk. They have to listen to the coach, they have to walk uh, extra time, they have to walk good in the training. And the most important is, you have to walk with a team. Only with a team you can be a great player. Without titles, without a good team, you will never go, uh, get a good player. For this, the team spirit is so important in the football, like everywhere, uh, to make results. And when they have the results, maybe for one or another will change a life. Like Semi's life was changing when he came to Bayern Munich and he was working very hard for himself. Fantastic. Excellent. Thank you so much. And maybe to add, uh, Tahiru, very finally, apart from the football, Sami Kufour after football is helping with national teams. He's helping with the football, you know, professional football association of Ghana. He's also grooming other people. So it's not just about the football education, but the other side. And he's also one of the richest men in Ghana, but you know, he doesn't want me to tell you. You know, so... <laughs> 
he's exactly so it's it's a whole package you know we we know that we want to enjoy uh Luther and the rest of our legends so we're not going to keep too long i think if you have something I, I, I to think, add uh, obviously with the amount of experience these two have if we want to to continue talking we will never finish uh, but we appreciate their time really well and i know that a lot of you uh, have come from far but this is where we bring this conversation to an end so ladies and gentlemen thank you so much let's put our, our hands together for our legends luther Mateos and sami kufo for joining us here back to you mr ambassador thank you so much good evening thank you very much and can i invite the Ghanaian le soccer legends who are here with us tonight to join us here on stage and have a nice uh, group picture here. Tanko, Tony, there they are coming. Please give a big hand here for Mr. Dortmund. <laughs> Okay, so we're live at uh, the residence of uh, the Germanist ambassador to Ghana, Daniel Crew, and uh, it's been a wonderful spectacle this evening where Luther Matthews, a uh, former World Cup winner and a FIFA World Best Player, uh, once upon a time is here in Ghana, and he's actually here to support a project in uh, Accra Lions. So it is uh, a very amazing spectacle at the moment. We've seen the legends, Sika Akono, the Sami Kufo, and uh, as well Luther Matthews, Ibrahim Tanko, and uh, Anthony Bafo. So we're very happy uh, to be able uh, to present you. It's the first tour band here in the German residence, and uh, it would be a great honor if you would be willing to inaugurate with us uh, this spectacular uh, piece of... Uh, Carpentry. All right. Can I ask you then to join me here? And Ben, can you be so nice and put some light on? And Manuel, can you be so kind to organize the ball? All right. So. So. Seven meters. Okay, so at the moment it's uh, oh, yeah. a bit of a test uh, just to test the uh, penalty right. kicks. So, two, two each, so we have okay. players of uh, yes. Bundesliga who will be taking penalty kicks at the moment. Okay. Yes. Oh. So, Luther Matthias is at the moment testing his uh, penalty kick test. It is between Sami Kufo and uh, Luther Matthias. It's Sami Kufo who is about to kick. Oh, Sami misses as well. And uh, again, Sami has another chance to make amends. Again, Sami misses. And uh, let's see if Ibrahim Tanko can build Sami Kufo out. Ibrahim Tanko is next. Oh, Ibrahim Tanko. Ibrahim Tanko senses all over the bar and the ball cannot even be found. So, it is still a test of penalty kicks. Oh, another miss from Ibrahim Tanko. We're still yet to get the, the perfect shot here at the residence of uh, Germany's ambassador to Ghana. CK Akono, oh, former Black Stars manager. Of course, uh, played in the Bundesliga as well. CK, the powerful left. CK! And CK Akono has demonstrated why he's one of the best dead ball situation players on planet Earth. CK Akono for you, the only player to have uh, scored in his penalty kicks. So again, we have Tony Anthony Bafo. Tony Bafo played for Fortuna Dusseldorf 
And uh, Tony Balfour decided to go for a low kick. He misses from the spot. Anthony Balfour, one more time. That's his score. Anthony Balfour, closely, almost, almost. And uh, we need Baby Jet. Well, Baby Jet didn't actually play in the Bundesliga, but trust me, he's one of the best penalty kicks. He's one of the best penalty takers. Baby Jet, without any foot, without slippers. Baby, he almost scored, but he misses a few inches. Baby Jet has another chance. Baby Jet, he goes over the bar. He reminds me of a particular year, which I do not want. <laughs> he reminds me of a particular year, but we're not going to go into that. So, as it stands, as it stands, it's only Sika Kono, the minister. Oh, minister goes way wide. The minister of youth and sport, Mustafa, you see, vulnerable. Well, he has another chance, another chance to hit the jackpot. They hit the spot. Mustafa, Mustafa Yusuf misses one more time. And uh, so we have an ambassador himself, His Excellency, Daniel Crew. Daniel Crew, he hits the woodwork. Daniel Crew has another chance. Can he? Or else it is going to be Sika Kono. Daniel Crew, almost. He almost got it. Almost. He misses also. And uh, we're still here at uh, Daniel Crow's resident, His Excellency Daniel Crow, who is uh, Germany's ambassador to Ghana, hosting Lothar Matthias in one of a very memorable evening. So Sika Kono being a judge, uh, the best player in terms of the penalty kicks this evening. He got one right. He was the only one on target. And obviously, it's uh, going to be one of uh, a memorable sight here at uh, Danny Cruz residence, His Excellency Danny Cruz residence here in Accra. So at the moment, former Bundesliga players joining Luther Matthias autograph session where Luther Matthias would have his signature on the board. So we have Luther Matthias together with the Bundesliga players. They have an autograph session. Every player with uh, a distinctive Signature being boldly signed on the board. It's now the turn of Ibrahim Tanko. Ibrahim Tanko also played in the Bundesliga. These are Bundesliga greats. And uh, they are here to support one of their own who is uh, investing in the development of players in the country at the moment. Accra Lions benefiting the beneficiaries of uh, the project being laid out by Luther Matthias, one of our uh, major stakeholders of the club at the moment. Earlier uh, this morning, we had a press conference unveiling him as an official partner of Accra Lions. Remember that Ibrahim Tanko is currently the sporting director of Accra Lions, obviously. Uh, he's uh, one of uh, the key men that, were, that was able to you know, pull the strings and get Luther Matthias involved. Oliver Koenig is the chairman of uh, Accra Lions. Also, a German football agent. He is the chairman of Accra Lions as well. So it's basically more of a German astute football administrators who are handling Accra Lions, a Premier League team here in Ghana. So it's very, very important that we have. <laughs> so we're still an autograph session on a, a t shirt being laid on the table for players to sign on. And uh, it's been surrounded by Ibrahim Tanko, Sami Kufo, the usual suspect, Asamu Ajan, Anthony Bafo. And these guys are here. Okay. 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 So, yeah. so I have Sami Kufo here. And obviously, we'll get into the chit chat a bit, get his thought. I know Sami has said a lot. Sami, you've said a lot tonight, and congratulations uh, for what you guys have done for us. I mean, obviously, we are reliving the moment of... Uh ...great footballers like yourself and Luther Matthews. What do you make of Luther's project, this project where he comes in to develop players here in Ghana? 
I think it's a, it's a good sign for all of us. We should be grateful to have such a person and an icon in the world football to come to our, our country. He didn't choose anyone, he chose Ghana. That's a privilege for us. I think uh, we need to hold him really high esteem and make everything possible that he will be happy here uh, to even uh, let a lot of people come in and invest in our football. How do you think Ghana, through the Ghana Football Association, the managers of the game, can capitalize on this to lift the brand and image of Ghana football? I think now we need to learn a lesson the, to make it very open to almost every team, to make it clear that it won't be any controversy decision here and there, here and there, so that it will interest in people to come in and invest. Because without people getting interest, there won't be any investment. Now you could see that our league, there wasn't any sponsorship from anywhere because of the people that doesn't have interest. But this one has opened a huge door for us. If Luther is coming to invest, then the other players, legends will know, other clubs as well, will know that, hey, there's something positive in Ghana. So we have a lot of legends who are playing in Europe, who are making a great impact in European football. So this is also a big step for us. Finally, this, I should have asked this one earlier, but how would you describe Luther Matthias? What kind of personality do you think he, he brings on board? Amazing, amazing. He is a machine. You know, you could see his age. We look at his physique. It's unbelievable. I mean, I played with him almost nine years. He's an unbelievable person. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. He made me who I am today in terms of football, developing in Germany. He was like a father to me. You know, he tells me even how to invest my money. Yeah, so everything is possible with him. So if the people will just understand him and let him be a person he wants to be, I think uh, we can go places. I like the fact that you said he, he even nurtured and helped father you even at, at Bayern Munich. What if you had a chance to speak to Accra Lions players who are going to benefit from this project? What would be the advice to any player playing for Accra Lions? I think it's said hard work, dedication and concentration because you cannot do anything without hard work. You saw, him you saw him telling people that the way I was working really hard because I know where I come from. I come from a very poor background, so I need to achieve something for myself and for my family. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much, Sami. So it was a pleasure. Great. So that's Sami Kufo. Uh, played with Luther Matthias, Bundesliga champion, Champions League champion, Champions League champion as well. Obviously, I have former manager of the Black Stars, also played in the Bundesliga, and it's a privilege uh, to have you. CK, thanks for joining us. Obviously, the same question, this project coming to Ghana, what do you make of Lotta Matthias choosing Ghana and, of course, the Premier League to invest in? I think earlier, earlier on, on his uh, interview, he, he, he made mention of how close he, he, he is with the uh, Ghanaian, uh, the Ghanaian people, you know, uh, Kufu as the beginner, and then, uh, of course, he's been here a couple of times. So he's familiar with the, uh, the terrain and he's, he's used to, he likes us, he feels we are a football nation, and therefore, it's, it's important that he invests here. How do you think Ghana can capitalize, take advantage of this project? Well, I think it's, it's, it's clear. The, the name itself says Lawrence. We need to embrace it and work hard, and we should not disappoint him, you know, because he's somebody who has come all over, uh, all from Europe. You know, he could choose, he could make a, a choice to go to any of the European countries to do it, and he's come here. And so we shouldn't disappoint him. We should rather uh, help him to achieve his. his what do you think the biggest challenge will be for him uh, through this project, and how do you uh, envisage that he is overcome this? Well, I think they, they've, they've really achieved a lot within a short time. Uh, he's doing it with Oliver, uh, another German guy, and the setup has been good. Uh, so uh, the, the, the road is a bit smooth, and, and I think uh, once they put in the necessary effort, they, they, will, they, will, they will do well. Any advice, if you have to advise an Accra, Accra Lions player with this huge personality on board, what sort of advice would you give an Accra Lions player? They've got to be serious. <laughs> They've got to be serious. And, and, but I think, you know, they've attached a lot of professionalism in what they do. And so I'm sure they are grooming good guys and hopefully in the near future we'll have lots of them from playing abroad and of course will, help, will affect the nation as well. CK, thank you very much for your time. And of course, enjoy your night. CK Akono there also played. The Bundesliga, of course, Dortmund, and he's here to support Lothar Matthias. Played against him, and of course, I have Anthony Balfour. He's a, a legend, and obviously, it's always a pleasure meeting the legends. Anthony, great evening, right? Yes, it's great. Um, yeah, I love the moment, I love the occasion. It's uh, great to see Lothar again. I saw him in Qatar at the World Cup as well, but he's an inspiration to all of us. His career is outstanding, uh, he's an example to uh, a lot of kids, uh, 
a lot of grown-ups and uh, he's definitely a world star and I'm happy that uh, he's a shareholder of Accra Lions now and uh, you see also as um, the general secretary of the Professional Football Association of Ghana, we always care about the welfare of the players and this is uh, another good milestone and stepping stone in the, in the right direction. Mm, great. If you to describe Luther Matthias, what kind of personality do you think he brings on board? Well, I, I don't think uh, you need to say a lot about Lothar. Everybody knows Lothar Matthäus. Uh, I mean, he played in the Bundesliga already when he was 18, 19. Started uh, with Mönchengladbach and then went to Bayern Munich to Inter Milan. He went back to Bayern. He played uh, uh, for the New York Metro Stars as well. Um, uh, he's a very strong character. You know, back in the days then, if you talk about Rudi Völler, Jürgen Klinsmann, uh, Pierre Lebaski and, and, and all of them, uh, Thomas Ike Hessler. It was a fantastic generation and he played his last match with 38 years. You see how he looks? That shows uh, that he's very disciplined. What's in for Accra Lions and of course Ghana football in general with this project, with this investment? Yeah, first of all, um, uh, having Lota, he's not only a shareholder, he's also an ambassador for Accra Lions uh, due to his uh, popularity and what he has achieved. Uh, but uh, I look at um, the, the vision and mission also of Oliver uh, and then also don't forget Franca Champong uh, who's a very big uh, stakeholder in there and shareholder. He has done very, very well. Ibrahim Tanko is the technical director. I think it's a good combination and um, uh, uh, for players it's important that they have good infrastructures, they um, have uh, like the best pitches to train the best environment um, and uh, also for the up-and-coming ones who are in the academy uh, it's all combined with education and at the end of the day um, it's a win-win situation thank you very much Anthony Balfour former Fortuna Dove player also played in the Bundesliga a very great personality huge one and of course obviously I have the man himself Luther Matthias Luther great to see you once again we met earlier in the day but it's been a wonderful evening and I love your submission. I love the fact that you were able to help Sami Kufo adapt to the German Bundesliga. And of course, he became one of the great players uh, for, for, for Ghana and of course, the, the Bundesliga. Obviously, and we'll be looking at how important that role played. So how would you describe a Ghanaian player? If you look at Sami Kufo, generally you've been in the country for some time now. How would you describe a Ghanaian player? But I think uh, I know a lot of uh, players from Ghana who was playing in the Bundesliga, especially this player. But you have ev always good players in your, in your country. For this, you play World Cups, you make good performance in the Africa Cup. And uh, I think uh, Ghana player make the same, the international football more interest. Because uh, when I think in my time about Anina Jiboa, top scorer in Bundesliga, Semi Gufu, Champions League winner with Bayern Munich, they are ambassadors for Ghana, and uh, I think uh, I'm I'm happy to meet them. I was playing with them. I was playing against them on the highest level in the competition, and uh, Ghana can be proud to have players like them because they're present your country, all around the world. And I think this they make very well, and they give everything for their country, and they're proud to be uh, to, to be born here in Ghana, and uh, they're very happy. Of course, everyone is asking. There are a lot of clubs in Ghana. There is Kotoko, there is Haas, there is... But you chose Accra Lions. Why Accra Lions? Uh, I was thinking about uh, my life, how I grew up in the football. And I like to work with young generation players. And Accra Lions has a, a, a system, a way where they give young players earlier the chance than maybe another. And for this, I am... Uh, thinking about myself or oh, look Semi Kufu was my first touch with Ghana private touch Semi Kufu come to Bayern Munich with 17 18 years he was a very young player but he show what is possible when you want something when you give your heart when you give your best and I have this feeling by the Accra Alliance I have a lot of Semi Kufus they can go the same way because they are young they are talented and now they have to learn what means football, international, professional football on the highest level. But they perform very well here. I like the style of football, what they are playing. And for this, my interest was to go to the Accra Alliance to be partner with, uh, with two another guys to help them, to support them and to 
invest in this club because I believe this club and I believe especially the player and after this last 48 hours I believe them more than before because I met them now I look in the talking I was looking them in the eyes they are ready to fight they are ready to give their best to go maybe the same way like many icons from Ghana of course when you invest you want results so what is no, that no, no. What, what kind of what, what kind of okay so what is your target in the next few years, what do you, what do you want to see Accra Lions become? I don't have to win the championship here. I like to t help them, to support them. They have to improve. They will get the best uh, option for a young player to improve in a good way. What they are doing later, this is their problem. But now in this moment, when I am here, and this is not a short project, I don't like to go out from this project after one or two years. This was never my, 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 my idea, not here, not in my career. I am somebody, when I start something, I like to finish. And I think we can finish this in a good way. We can give the young generation player in Ghana a very good option. And I hope we are good model, maybe for another clubs too. Because we like to invest in the football, in the, in the football in Ghana, to improve the players. No championship, no cups. I don't need titles. I like to see the players who improve and who have maybe later a better life than now. With more money, with more honor and and and. I like that. So does it mean we are going to see some of them have international experience, go to Europe and of course play down the big the big teams in there? No, don't have to play in the biggest team, but they have they have to make step by step. And this is sure not my idea and maybe not the idea from the Accra Lions Club to see a player from us immediately in Chelsea or in Liverpool. They have to go step by step. This I have to understand because a player in this age need a game practice. With game practice you can improve. When you are training and sitting on the bench, this is not the right, it's not the right step. They have to go to a club where they uh, can play in their age. Later, sure, I wish and I hope they can go to a bigger club too. But the next step cannot be immediately Bayern Munich or Real Madrid. The next step has to be a club where they can get game practice. You've been in Ghana in and out. Aside the football, what do you think brings you back to Ghana? Uh, first, uh, I told the same to my president. I will visit Ghana three, four times per year because I like to see it uh, face to face. I don't like to see only the videos and the pictures and uh, maybe in the internet the results. I like to see the games. I like to see the players. I like to talk with the players. I like to communicate with the players. And I like to listen to the same the problems from the uh, players. And I don't like to talk in the daily business because I'm too far to, to tell to the coach what he has to do. We have a smart coach, we have a very intelligent coach from England and he was improving in the last well, two years the team very well. Great. Luther Matthias, thank you very much for your time and of course congratulations and all the best in this new project, your investment. We thank you and we hope that your, 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 your dreams and of your target will be achieved. Thank you very much. I hope the dreams for the players get through. I, had, I was living my dream in the last 40 years and I'm very happy with my life. But I like to give something back. The same in Germany, I'm coach for an under 10 years old team where I was playing my son. Three times training per week, weekend uh, game. I have a lot, a, lot of, a lot of things to do. But football is my life, it's my passion. And for this, I like to give the football something back. I can go 365 days for holiday. No, it's not my way. It's boring for me. I like to be part of football and I do this in my way. Thank you very much Luther Matthias for your time. Of course, great. So that's Luther Matthias there and uh, so passionate about football. It's incredible. He says he leaves football. He is football. It's been an amazing journey for him and all he wants to do is to look give these young guys a better development structure and of course uh, they become the biggest players and the biggest stars on the continent and of course in the world. So this has been our coverage of uh, a bit of uh, a chit chat here and there uh, with Luther Matthias, who is in Ghana to invest. He's a stakeholder, major one in Accra Lions, a Premier League club here in Ghana, and he's hoping that these young guys will get the rightful steps in development uh, to become big stars on the continent, of course, in the globe.